The endocrine system is one of the major control systems of the human body, working alongside the nervous system to regulate and coordinate activities of cells, tissues and organs. Why the nervous system uses rapid electrical impulses for communication? The endocrine system uses slower but long-lasting chemical messengers called hormones. These hormones are secreted by endocrine glands and they travel through the bloodstream to target or cells throughout the body. The endocrine system is made up of glands which are specialized organs that secrete hormones directly into the bloodstream rather than through ducts. This hormone regulates metabolism, growth and development, reproduction and body's response to stress and environmental changes. The endocrine gland differs from the endocrine glands, such as the sweat and the salivary glands which secrete substances through ducts to external surfaces or cavities. The endocrine glands are small, widely scattered and they include the pituitary gland, the pineal gland, the hypothalamus, the thyroid, the parathyroid, the adrenal glands, the pancreas and the gonads which include the testes and the ovaries. Other organs such as the heart, the kidneys, the stomach, intestines and adipose tissue also contain endocrine cells that secrete hormones. Types of hormones and stimuli Hormones are generally classified into two main types. One, amino acid based hormones, which include proteins, peptides, and amides. Examples include insulin and epinephrine. Number two, steroid hormones, which are derived from cholesterol. Example, cortisol, estrogen, and testosterone. Hormone secretion is usually triggered by one of the three kinds of stimuli. We have humeral stimuli, which is changes in blood levels of ions or nutrients. Example is when low calcium triggers parathyroid hormone release. The second kind of stimuli is neural stimuli, which is nerve impulses stimulating hormone release. Example is the sympathetic nerves triggering the adrenal release. Then the third kind of neural stimuli is humoral stimuli, which is when one hormone stimulates another gland. Example is when the hypothalamic hormones triggers the pituitary hormones. Hormones act in small concentrations and may circulate freely or bound to plasma proteins, depending on their solubility. Major endocrine glands and their function. Number one, the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus, located in the brain, links the nervous system and the endocrine system. It regulates the pituitary gland, often called the master gland, and this is because it controls other endocrine glands. The pituitary gland is divided into the posterior lobe and the anterior lobe. The posterior lobe stores and releases hormones made by the hypothalamus, while the anterior lobe synthesizes and secretes its own hormone under hypothalamic control. So that being said, let's talk about the posterior pituitary hormones. Number one, we have oxytocin. Oxytocin stimulates uterine contraction during childbirth and milk ejection during breastfeeding. It also promotes bonding and affection. The second hormone is the antidiuretic hormone, also called ADH or vasopressin. It helps the body conserve water by reducing urine outputs when blood osmolarity rises or when blood pressure drops. Next is the anterior pituitary hormones. 
we have the growth hormones which stimulate tissue growth, cell division, and fat metabolism. We also have the thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, which stimulates the thyroid gland to produce thyroid hormones. And then we have the adrenocorticotropic hormone, also called the ACTH. It stimulates the adrenal cortex to release corticosteroids. Next is the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone, called FSH and LH respectively. They regulate the gonads, which are the ovaries and the testes. Next is prolactin, also called PRL. It stimulates milk production in females. Number two, the thyroid and the parathyroid glands. The thyroid gland located in the neck has two lobes connected by the isthmus and it produces the tyronine which is T4 and triodotyronine which is T3. And these hormones increases metabolism, promotes tissue growth and helps regulate blood pressure. Behind the thyroid are four small parathyroid glands which secretes parathyroid hormone, also called PTH. Now, PTH regulates blood calcium and phosphate levels by stimulating bone reabsorption, increasing calcium reabsorption in the kidneys, and activating vitamin D to enhance intestinal calcium absorption. Number three, the adrenal glands. Each adrenal gland sits on top of a kidney and it has two regions. The adrenal cortex, which is the outer layer, it produces steroid hormones known as corticosteroids. And then the adrenal medulla, which is the inner layer, it produces corticoalmines, which are norepinephrine and epinephrine. These are released during stress, which is the fight or flight response. It increases heart beats, blood glucose, and blood flow into the muscles. Number four is the pineal gland. The pineal gland is located in the diencephalon of the brain, and the pineal gland secretes melatonin, which is a hormone that regulates the sleep wake cycle and biological readings. Number five is the pancreas. The pancreas is both an exocrine and endocrine organ. Its endocrine part is, consists of the insulates of ligands, which secretes insulin to lower blood glucose by promoting its uptake into cells and inhibiting glucose production and the glucagon which raises blood glucose by stimulating glucogen breakdown and glucose synthesis in the liver number six the gonads the gonads which include the testes in males and ovaries in females produces sex hormones the ovaries secretes estrogen and progesterone which regulates menstrual cycle maintains pregnancy and promotes development of female secondary characteristics why the testis produces testosterone, which is responsible for sperm production and male secondary sex characteristics, such as deeper voice and muscle growth. The placenta, which is a temporal endocrine organ during pregnancy, secretes hormones such as the human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, estrogen, and progesterone to support fatal developments.